this video I will discuss the rehearsals of Durable Mike Malloy, how we took the concept of the show with a script and a cast and how we brought it to a final performance. In the first rehearsal I did a workshop with the cast. I really wanted them to grasp the style of the show. Um, before we did anything, before we um, generated ideas, I wanted them to understand the framework in which we were working and the style and the type of ideas that I was wanting in the show, which as previously mentioned was a slapstick surrealist um, uh, Brechtian Burkhoffian piece, if that's just to throw a lot of names out, but it, it was physicalised with people changing roles and the performance, uh, to use a phrase I kept repeating throughout rehearsals, was a cartoon-like performance. They weren't playing the characters, they were playing exaggerations of the characters. Um, I, I kept telling the cast, I want you to perform to a level where I will tell you to tone it down. I wanted too much of them because it's a ridiculous story, it's a true story, but it's a ridiculous story, and I wanted a ridiculous performance to show that. Um, the um, Because, uh, as I say, the the majority of the cast was multi-rolling and they were in it throughout the whole thing. Um, the rehearsals would require the entire cast and we would do full runs and then focus on scenes um, that needed work. And a lot of the physicalised scenes we would spend a lot of time on. We spent a lot of time on the um, the running down in the cab scene and that um, involved... Um, that went through several uh, stages. We initially wanted to use props to show the car. We had the idea of him holding a steering wheel, just a steering wheel to symbolise the car, or to hold a car door um, on the side to be enough to symbolise in it. Uh, to symbolise it, and we kept stripping it down, stripping it down, trying to make a minimalist performance as possible. And in the end, we didn't even bother with the car at all. We didn't have um, the, the drivers. We only had Mike Malloy, and we created the effect with sound and visuals so that um, Malloy or, or, or Paddy as Malloy would walk to the front and we would have the sound of a car coming from one um, side to the other um, and, and we would flash the lights to give the effect and then Paddy would jump out of the way um, uh, and, and this was very much inspired by Stephen Burkhoff who, was, who was, we, we took as an inspiration from the start um, in 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 especially um, Burkhoff's uh, murder of Claudius in Hamlet, um, that w when we struggled, we tried to do it with less and less, um, and and often it was things getting in the way. Another point was um, the bed that. Uh, that Betty Carson um, laid on, or, or the corpse of Betty Carson laid on, um, and we, we we initially we were trying to make a bed out of chairs, or, or um, we we talked about just having a framework of a bed and things like that, and in the end uh, we decided to just use a blanket, and it was enough for the audience to understand, given the style of the piece, to understand that that was meant to be a bed, although it was not physically or literally a bed, and we just laid her on a blanket. Um, the, the small parts we did do separately, uh, her, who we brought in, um, the, the police officer bit and the doctor bit, we were, we were quite able to, to work out um, with, with these people uh, separately and then bring them in uh, towards the end with the final performance, especially since we did get these actors quite late um, in, in the rehearsal process. Um, a lot of the physical ideas we worked out together as a group with lots of people pitching in, um, people going off to, to generate some ideas and then coming over and saying, um, look, I've, I've got this idea. Um, and um, and then even right to the end we were bringing in extra bits. For instance, the bit where uh, Malloy was frozen um, was initially just described. We didn't even bother showing it at all. And then um, right at the end I thought it would be a good idea to, to show that. Um, and we... Um, and we we did this quite sim simply. Um, we didn't even shove it off to another part of the stage. We brought 
Malloy down to the front and he was acting out the bits that happened as they happened so when they um, they said that Malloy will pass out drunk he was already drinking he was already at the bat and he just passed out and then and, and then it happened as they described it